Hey everybody, it is Dom here back once again. We're checking out the latest update for Armor Forger, what they are calling the Ground Branch update here. Now, this update is significant for a lot of reasons here. The Ground Support update here is going to be adding the Arlen Terrain. Um, they have a new game mode, which is going to be uh, a combat op scenario. It's going to dynamic, uh, dynamically generate new missions on the map uh if you ever play dynamic recon ops on arma 3 uh kind of like that which is really useful really needed a couple other odd things here you know some weapon stuff going on but primarily we're looking at that map we're looking at the combat ops scenario and there are some changes you know adding stuff here uh for the medical system um some stuff that's been tweaked around tons of bug fixes it's always nice for this game but is it enough to bring back players? And actually, well, it kind of... So, of course, the game at all time had 12,000 people. Right now, there's about 254 people playing, a high end of about 323, which is double than what they see on a weekend, around 160 on the, on the low end. We're seeing, you know, maybe 30 people playing this game. And you got to imagine, this isn't a game like Call of Duty where everyone's on one server matchmaking with each other no this is there's private servers going on there's you know multiplayer tons of people hosting their own stuff here uh so for a game of that caliber to have such a massively low player count it's good to see it's not abandoned especially because this is laying the framework for arma 4 and i think just people who bought it even if you are disappointed like i haven't touched this game honestly since the last video i've done on i'm gonna be honest um and seeing what's going on with the workshop which has me kind of worried a little bit because i'd rather go to steam workshop than in-game workshop like i get it because of the um cross play nature which is cool still letting you have xbox have the mods there but it's how well is that all going to tie in and maybe the console players is what will end up saving arma i mean heck i freaking i love the fact i can play with a controller i'm all for that but that's enough talk here of like behind the scenes stuff going on let's go and check out combat ops arland hit play and see um what is the first thing that's going to happen when we load into this new map this new game mode all by yourself now for servers i was seeing only servers of like six people on this combat ops which has me wondering why so you guys tell me um why is it limited to only six people is it for this mission file is it just the ser like the official hosted servers like that just seems very odd um so i don't know if that's by design to get more of a close-knit squad group of people but we'll see here so there we are with the u.s army we got some uh, different victory conditions here recover intel clear area search and destroy and exfil for the u.s army atlas red one and uh, let's hit continue here and we can see that boom this is the map here honestly when i first saw this map um i don't know why it kind of reminded me of that one uh halo city map from um arma 3 from the halo mod uh maybe it was just seeing this right here i mean i know this is the airfield and then like some city stuff going on here so maybe that's why i was just drawing that connection but um it's a bit more unique i'll say just by this design but let's get in here and see what all is going on here especially for the game that i haven't played in a while i mean i've heard people say hey they added uh rolling to the game um where you can go prone and then roll like that is massive also yeah I'm, I'm loading so you know the one thing i'll still give this game all these months later is it looks pretty damn beautiful like it's good i love it i love the shadow i love this maybe it's the fact that only i'm playing it right now but like it it runs smooth i was playing this thing on the one x player uh back then and i imagine on the steam deck it's probably the same way those two um in terms of like their controller support and everything so here i am right now on my controller uh the way arma was meant to be played right so let's go here and see um the different uh, little changes here stuff in the vicinity um can I interact with you why open so this is our arsenal i'm still not too crazy about this arsenal right now 
because of like the layout like it's just it's just shit thrown together it feels like you know and i'm not going to get into like oh there's only one pistol or there's stuff like that where it's like a little nitpicky like it's just hey we got game throw it out you know it's eh you know it is very much a work in progress but as we see with today we have an update which is nice it's it's a game that even though it has a low player count it's still building foundation you can see it in real time what it's going to lead up to and i hope that this game by the end of it um of its life cycle not only builds on like a good foundation for arma 4 but still allows for like a good presence of its own i think it probably will go free to play i'm not gonna lie um i do see something like that happening with this game here um okay i gotta go to first person look at my compass so that's something that's like oh uh, you know but let's start heading over here to this objective of course you can't see where you're at on the map unless you're um you know un unless you have like that mod there for it so that's kind of like a yeah like a bit of a bummer honestly a couple couple things that would be like yeah they'd be nice to have you know the options to turn on or off um more quality of life changes that are seemingly very small that would make a massive impact for the quality of life um one being in particular is just the ai using vehicles uh i've seen that one a lot people still asking for that one um <clears throat> it kind of seems funny that the rolling on the ground feature is such a like it was so such a requested like bring that back um so when people like people just lost their mind like you could see the player count went from like 30 to like 55 instantly so and hey this update here we all because we got a dynamic scenario went from 140 to about over 300 so doubling it doubling it with the updates with stuff like this I'm loving it so so yeah, like I said, it's a very nice, I know some people aren't too crazy about the art style of the game here, you know, and I think, yeah, maybe there's an argument to be made there of like this newer style that games kind of adapt, you know, so I, I could see, you know, the, the older three veterans, I guess you would say, uh, that player base, you know, as I like, been around for 10 years, they kind of want more of that look but just more stuff more uh, mechanical improvements engine improvements you know not just uh an art style change there so but i'm gonna cut ahead a little bit until we get to uh, arloville clear out this area and start kicking some butt like i said i don't know where i'm at i'm kind of just talking and walking until i uh come across some stuff and i feel like i might be actually on my way there so yeah this looks beautiful right here it's so cool for like a little horror scene or something going on all right so we got our flashlight i don't okay i can keep it uh attached to me there we go that's nice i think if i hit l again and then okay so yeah i can keep it up Let's see what's going on out here. I believe there was somebody trying to throw a grenade out here to me. Not really too certain, but let's go scope out the area here. Alright, take cover here. Let's go put away our flashlight. Have a little bit of the element of surprise going on here in this city. Now I've been checked out the majority of the map yet but you know i uh i like this little town here it's nice so i know it's saying clear out the area i don't really know what's really going on here so let's keep running around i i, I kind of want you know what just because someone brought this up last time about the destruction physics in this game. I'm kind of curious. This one's for you, guy who wanted to see the destruction and all that. 
anything. It was a nice little explosion, but I think all this stuff is still here. Yeah. Also, for you guys that follow mods in this game, is it just me or I took a quick look at the uh, workshop and it seemed like there was stuff like taken down. Like, I don't know if that's just there is an update or they cleared the, the workshop or or what happened. Like, I know Arma notoriously, <laughs> if you see other videos on my channel or, or other, just anything in Arma when it comes to, it's not like Gmod. You're not going to see the, the Wild West of every single mod out there. Like, stuff will get taken down, but I wonder if that was the case, because I did a video on, like, some Ford Mustangs, and I couldn't find it. I actually couldn't find any of my favorited items, so I kind of made me wonder if there was a, a reset there for anyone who's still playing this game actively. Where the heck are all the enemies at? Game Master, let me ping my Arma Vision. Okay, well, at least I can still do Arma Vision. But yeah, if we don't see anybody here in the next couple of seconds, like I'm literally just running around the in the street here. Watch, someone's gonna be like, "Dude, you're not even in the right area." Well, it's freaking, where am I, man? I just need to find the church and to really prove I'm in the right area. Yeah, Arlaville, right there. Okay. Yeah, literally. So. And I need to first person check my compass. Like, I know it's not the best thing in third person to have a compass on your screen in Arma 3, but actually, like, I, I can't see my compass from right here. So that would be a big quality of life change, in my opinion, there. It's like I said, there was something that shot at me, and then he just didn't. Like, he just left or something. But. Alright, so th that's going to do it here for this little combat ops. Um, do I recommend it? Do I not recommend it? I don't really know. It's just weird to say. It just feels like I, I didn't run into anything at all uh, going on here. So maybe nothing dynamically generated. Um, so, but let's go into uh, Game Master for this map and check it out. All right, there we go. Here we are. And, I, you know, just for the sake of my my sanity, let's go throw ourselves uh, right here in this little forest where we were. I swore we were, like, right here. And then Arlaville. And then, yeah, I literally was at this place, and I got, like, a little dude who shot a threw a grenade right over here. Or more. I don't even know what he did, but, yeah, so I, I don't. I don't know in that regard, but so this is the little town that I was in um, earlier in the video. We didn't go over to the church. Probably should have gone over to the church. Honestly, you can see the ocean side here, the harbor. Uh, let's go check out that airfield. I feel like that's going to be one of the more interesting parts, especially maybe. Is that, is that them teasing air vehicles? What? Yeah, it's, it's come on. There's like literally a helicopter mod out there already uh, i think we did a video on it and um it worked so it you know i think all the command or not commands but all the uh the buttons all the configs and everything is there it's just not in the game yet because they they probably want to make their own fully functional one you know it's so funny seeing this right here because this is very clearly like an arma style building like if you've played arma long enough you know and you're like this this yeah this style is that's an armor style building and it looks nice with the uh the interiors uh like i was mentioning though i want to be able to just go and like you know lightning bolt lightning bolt and it should destroy like all this stuff in my opinion you know i'm not too crazy about static objects but you know what i'm not going to be a negative nancy or new or too nitpicky because you know what in, in past armor games it's just here's a building you can't even get inside of it here's a building it's all hollowed out which in all fairness to those some people might be like hey i want this building hollowed out so i can put objective stuff here i don't want to have it entirely you know like that i mean you could probably uh make stuff out 
already. Um, but, you know, we still have these things right here, which are pretty cool. I love these little things where you can just double click it and just throw down a thing. Um, like, look at that. I think that's really cool. So it saves a lot of time with compositions. Hella useful when it comes to the mission making side of things for Game Master and staying like on the fly. So like, look, there's some dudes there. There's some dudes there. And they're gonna try to kill each other in a second when they realize they hate each other. Because I at least want to give you guys some bit of action here in the video, so. Well, there's something the Russians can win. So, all right. I don't know what's uh, what's going on over here. Somebody's nasty looking pool, but this airfield's pretty pretty cool. A very unique airfield with like the hook over here. I feel like I've never seen an airfield in an armor map where the hook comes in here and then they have the area for like. The little helicopter pads as well as the runway i feel like it's and then like two like another runway this way i feel like it's just like an area over this way and then the runway which um honestly it's pretty cool to see these style hangers too like, these are really cool looking hangers i'll say that so i kind of want to see how how deep it is in here so not too deep in terms of like exploring around in these hangars it looks like but that's pretty cool i didn't know if like one of these had like a underground bunker or something crazy you know but then we have these it's like a little classroom setting cafeterias and tons of tons of little cool little things going on there so yeah i think this will be a pretty cool airfield when they do add planes and helicopters i know people will lose their mind all the uh the pilot boys you know I know the tanker boys probably want more toys to play with, but the, the pilot people don't have anything at all right now, so I know they're they're scratching at the itch there. And trust me, as soon as you add that player count, you're gonna triple. Because think about it, there's some people in armor who only play as tankers, only play as pilots, or you know, only play as medics, stuff like that. So you kinda gotta accommodate to uh their needs to bring in that player base back too. So but all in all, I like this new map. It's pretty, pretty cool. From uh, well, I'm like, wait a minute. How did I? There we go. I think I earlier in the video I did something where I uh, changed how fast I could move up and down the map. I'm pretty certain I did that. Let's go back over here. And let's, yeah, that right there, that's what was making it. See, I must have moved that, I think, to five earlier, yeah. So, you can kind of see. Big little area to, to play around with. Lots of forest and vegetation. So, I think this is a lovely addition for Arma. Nice, nice new map. Um, this one little island just vibing here. So, all in all, nice little map, nice little update. It's F-R-E-E. -E. Can't beat that. Um, so, yeah, tell me your guys' thought. Is this enough to bring you back to Armor of Forger? Did you guys actually get combat ops to work and have some stuff uh, dynamically generate? And what would it take for you to come back to Armor of Forger if you're not? Um, and if you're playing crossplay, let me know too, because I'm really curious on... Uh, those players who are playing in between uh xbox the new xbox one series s and x i believe and um pc so that's going to do it all here a bit of a longer video but i really wanted to jump into armor forger after seeing this update seeing a couple friends talk about it and just see what's going on with the game and um yeah you might catch me playing on a couple servers here and there uh no crashes for me so far but I'm really curious if after a long period of time, how the game is handling up. So I'll uh, stay, on, stay by, stay tuned for all that, whether it be Armor 3, Armor Forger, 
uh, on the channel. You guys know what to do by now. And uh, appreciate you guys as always. Take care.